Hello, I would like to uh, tell you how you can use uh, PostgreSQL even if you do not have access to a server uh, where PostgreSQL has been installed. Uh, for instance, you could uh, test various uh, SQL statements that, has, that have been written in the SQL dialect that is used in uh, PostgreSQL and you can also try to solve uh, SQL tasks uh, for, let's say, searching data or modifying data uh, based on a PostgreSQL database. And uh, for that purpose, uh, you can use uh, uh, an environment uh, that is called uh, DebFiddle. Uh, it names itself SQL Database uh, Playground, and uh, essentially you have here a sandbox where you can execute various uh, SQL uh, statements and uh, uh, see what the result of uh, executing these statements would be. Uh, the Debevit Fiddle uh, environment uh, right now supports uh, three different uh, database management systems, MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQLite. And I uh, uh, want to tell you about uh, PostgreSQL. Uh, so uh, currently, uh, the latest version of PostgreSQL is version uh, 15, and uh, it is available in, in, the, uh, in the environment. So uh, first of all, I have to select uh, a suitable database management system and a suitable version uh, of a uh, database management system. Uh, now, uh, at the course, uh, from the course homepage, uh, you can find uh, SQL uh, scripts that contain uh, statements for producing SQL databases uh, for uh, PostgreSQL. And uh, PostgreSQL is one of these databases that you can, for instance, use uh, in order to uh, solve um, extra points tasks uh, during the practice classes. And of course, you can also use PostgreSQL uh, uh, in order to implement your independent work uh, project. Uh, so uh, if, for instance, you would like to uh, solve SQL tasks, uh, that uh, have to find certain data or modify data or, uh, or register new data or, or delete some data, and then uh, you have to open uh, the script file that contains statements for producing uh, the PostgreSQL database. There are create table statements and there are also insert statements that add rows uh, to a table. And uh, you have to copy all these statements and you have to put these uh, statements uh, here. And just the content of uh, entire file. And now if I click uh, on this button run, then I can uh, see that, uh, that the system says that the query was executed successfully, meaning that all these statements were executed uh, successfully. So there were no uh, problems in executing these uh, statements. And the idea is that if you use this environment, then uh, first of all, all these statements that are uh, presented here are executed one after another. And by doing this, uh, the schema will be built, uh, tables will be created, uh, tables will be populated with uh, test data, and after that, uh, the statements that are presented here will be executed one after another. Uh, so, for instance, if I now right here select all from a room uh, where, uh, let's say, total number equals one, and I click here run, then what happens is that, uh, first of all, the schema will be built, and after that, the query will be made uh, based on the built-up uh, scheme. Uh, you can have here, actually, uh, multiple uh, statements, one after another. So if I put here another statement where I uh, want to count uh, all, uh, where I want to, want to find the number of rooms, uh, that I invite a uh, hotel with a number one, then I can 
right like that. And uh, if I click here, run, then actually you can see uh, the execution of both uh, say statements succeeded. And I can see here uh, the result of the first statement and the result of uh, uh, second, uh, second uh, statement. Uh, and I also can see uh, the execution uh, time. Uh, if I make uh, some error in the statement, let's say I wrote, uh, I write uh, column name uh, incorrectly, and if I click uh, run, then actually uh, the execution of these statements here stops, uh, where uh, execution of these statements uh, stops, and I will get uh, the first uh, error uh, message. Uh, if I do uh, do like that and uh, click uh, run, then again, uh, because one of these statements was incorrect, then I do not see here any uh, any result. And I can try out uh, uh, I can try out um, uh, data modification statements as well. And for that uh, purpose, I uh, should actually write here a test in order to uh, check uh, whether uh, the data modification succeeded or not. So, for instance, uh, if I write here delete from uh, reservation, uh, where uh, hotel number equals one, uh, then I should also write such uh, select statements here. So uh, select uh, all uh, from reservation where hotel number equals one and select all from reservation where hotel number equals one. So I construct here a test uh, for my data modification where first of all I will find data that was, um, uh, I will find the data uh, that was here in the database before data modification, then I perform data modification, and then I will see uh, the result. Now, if I click run, then actually uh, this is the result of the first query. Uh, and now uh, the second query is executed. These rows have been deleted, and now I see here the result of a uh, uh, second query. Uh, actually, in um, uh, PostgreSQL, you could use uh, returning a clause. So, for instance, you could also write like that. So, uh, if I uh, execute uh, this statement, then actually uh, what happens is that the rows where this condition is satisfied uh, have been uh, uh, were deleted, and returning uh, returns these rows that were actually deleted uh, from uh, the table. So in this way, you can also check whether uh, this data uh, modification that uh, you tried here was successful or not. Uh, in uh, this uh, part uh, of a uh, uh, window here, uh, you cannot uh, execute, uh, create, alter, or uh, drop uh, statements. So if I uh, write uh, like that uh, and uh, try to uh, execute uh, the statements, then uh, oh, okay, uh, I can actually um, uh, create uh, tables uh, here as well. Uh, so uh, let's uh, try it out uh, from A and uh, click Run. And uh, as you can see, actually, I can put these uh, create table statements uh, here as well. And then I can make uh, a query uh, based uh, on a table. Uh, what I would like to say is that uh, actually uh, you can uh, use this uh, environment even uh, to create your independent work uh, projects uh, if you want to use uh, PostgreSQL or possibly also MySQL or SQLite uh, uh, to, uh, to, mm, uh, to create your database. Uh, because in your project, in your project, uh, you do not have to uh, create a database uh, application. Uh, you only uh, have to uh, produce um, uh, statements for creating a database. You have to populate uh, the database with uh, this data, and you have to produce uh, queries 
that could be executed based on the created uh, database. Uh, so it's uh, entirely possible to imagine that you produce uh, a SQL script that uh, creates all the tables in your database, uh, that inserts data uh, to all the tables in your database. And when you create uh, queries, required queries, uh, and also one required uh, data modification statement uh, based on the uh, database. And uh, uh, you can actually test all these statements uh, in this environment. And you can also demonstrate that uh, all these statements work uh, correctly in uh, this uh, environment. So you even do not need or necessarily need uh, access uh, to a server uh, where PostgreSQL has been installed and where you, for instance, uh, have to uh, log in uh, uh, to, to a server and then you have to create uh, permanently tables, uh, have to uh, can add uh, this data to the tables and then you can make uh, queries uh, based on the tables. You can actually do uh, everything uh, uh, that I mentioned also in this particular uh, environment. And even, for instance, if you, uh, let's say, use uh, Microsoft Access uh, for SQL practicing and uh, making the uh, SQL test, uh, when uh, this is an environment where you can play uh, with uh, PostgreSQL and you can experiment uh, with uh, various extra uh, possibilities that the SQL dialect of PostgreSQL offers compared to, uh, let's say, Microsoft uh, Access. Although I must stress that uh, the statements that you write in Microsoft Access, 99.9% uh, .9 of these uh, statements work uh, also in uh, Postgres uh, without any modifications or with uh, very minor uh, modifications.